So I have been asked a few times about this car that I have on the right hand side of the eye, the corner. And I've also been asked about that over there, there's a line, if you see that. It is going to be a full video at some point. I will explain um, what really happened and how do I, where did those cars come from? It's going to be a whole video for, for that. But today I want to talk about relationship with an evolving chosen one. So this is a video that is going to actually help you. You are a chosen one or you're planning to date a chosen person. There is really some things very, very important that you are going to have to know as an individual. It is something that I've experienced. I've continued to experience it, although at this point in time, I'm in that space where I have more clarity, so I understand uh, what has been really going on. I've been on this journey for more than four years now. And I've pretty much, I could say, been physically by myself, okay? It doesn't really mean that I didn't try to get into relationships. Yes, of course, those early days, like I've told you guys the stories about the greater narcissist, you know, and I had a few meetings in that time. But of course, those relationships didn't work. In that time, I didn't really understand why, but later on, I started to understand why actually those relationships never worked. Never worked out in the first place. A chosen person who is also evolving, has gone through very intensive trauma. So they have been, they have been burnt by families. Some of them have been burnt by their relationships, in their relationships, by their partners, some of them by their friends. So there's a, a very huge intensive experience, traumatic experience that they have gone through somewhere along their journey. And when they have received an awakening, because I've told you, the reason why, why you are evolving is because you have undergone a spiritual awakening and you are evolving to become your greatest version. You're healing, of course, and you're working on yourself and you're evolving to become your greatest version. In the early days of your, <coughs> of your journey, especially post-awakening, there's a lot of unhealed trauma, of course, because you're starting the journey of healing. So there's a lot of unhealed trauma and there's a lot of things that you still need to work on. And in that process, it will usually happen that you may maybe sometime get into a relationship. You know, you may sometime meet somebody, they're interested in you or whatever. But one of the things you realize is that in those early days or early months or early years, you're usually going to meet those same people or those similar individuals that are actually in that particular vibration and frequency, okay? It is also a very big chance that you're also going to meet unhealed people. Is the reason as to why so many chosen people, when they go into these relationships, uh, post-awakening, many of them never worked out, you know? You could have dated somebody one month, maybe two months, maybe three months, and you figured out that it's most likely another traumatic experience. So it's actually pre uh, bringing you back to uh, previous experiences and sometimes you will feel that <clears throat> it's not going to work out and sometimes you may decide to call it off. You know, you may decide to tell these individuals, listen, maybe something is not working out. Maybe just we could just leave it the way it is. Because you have, you're thirsty for healing, you know. When you've gone through the post-awakening, when you've gone through an awakening, you're very thirsty to start healing yourself. And you really feel that you have got to heal yourself because there's no way you are going to become your greatest version without doing healing work on yourself. So that's why those relationships normally never work. And the chosen person also is having a lot of shifts. I'm talking about the evolving chosen one. They are going through so, so many shifts. And sometimes I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you haven't started your journey. But for the ones who have already started their journey, they can already resonate with me that you are going through a lot of changes. 
you're shedding a lot of skin, you're shedding a lot of, you know, you're doing a lot of work on yourself. There's a lot of shifts that are, you know, internal. We're talking about internal shifts, even sometimes external, that are happening in your journey. And sometimes these shifts are happening very, very quickly, you know. So when you have met someone in those uh, early days or early months, uh, post-awakening, it is going to be very difficult for that relationship to work. Chosen ones. I know sometimes you you are concerned about uh, being alone, or sometimes you are, you are worried about, you know, you've been alone for a while, and sometimes maybe you want to get into a relationship with someone, even if you want somebody for in your similar vibration or frequency. Usually, I don't know if that relationship will usually work because in my own experience, personal experience, yours may be different, but mine, I could say. It doesn't usually work out, you know, so you, you may experience a breakup at some point, you know, it could be, and it's, it's going to be a very short time. It could, be, it could even sometimes be between two, three or sometimes four months and you're going to break up with that person because you're evolving, you're yearning for your purpose, you know, you're going through these shifts, the shifts are very intensive, you know, and you're going through so many changes, you're skipping a lot of timelines. You're moving from one timeline to another, one timeline to another, and sometimes it is very overwhelming. And you feel that you don't have any little space to let someone in your life, like fully allow somebody to come into your life. When the person comes in, it's like you are a little bit um, skeptical about them. You really want to see what they're all about. What are their intentions? Do they have your best interests? Are they going to sting you like the like the previous relationships? So there is a lot of things that are going on in your mind and you're really working on yourself to heal. And many people don't understand why they approach chosen people for friendships or for relationships. And sometimes these chosen people, they tend to let them down. Okay, so they let they, they tend to, you know, just tell them maybe, you know, it's, gonna, it's not going to work out or whatever. Uh, people think maybe they're selfish or they feel a certain way about themselves and actually that is not even the truth you know it's not even anywhere near to uh, near to the truth it's just because those people don't understand those particular individuals and the life that they are going through at that moment there is many people who cannot see these shifts they may see them some of them may see them but there's some people who meet you may meet along your journey that they're not going to understand that you're going through a lot of eternal shifts and a lot of growth within you and you're changing and you're shedding skin and you know you're, you're having all these dna upgrades and everything all these spiritual downloads and everything the universe is moving you to a better space and healing you where you will be able to at some point maybe later on in the journey meet the person that is really really supposed to be a part of you you know and I've told you guys, when that person comes, you will know. The moment that person pops into your life, you will know that that is the person. But that person normally, they are actually shown to you or shown to you somewhere in the middle of your journey. So it's like God is speaking to you and like, okay, so this is the person that is going to grow with you. This is the person that is going to support you along your journey. This is the person that is going to be with you. The person may appear somewhere along your journey. But still, even... On a, a very physical level, you may not be able to get into a really full-blown relationship. Although they may be somewhere out there also maybe doing a lot of work on themselves. But it may not actually manifest into a full-blown relationship. Because there's still some changes that are going on within you. And when you skip timelines on this journey of healing and evolution. When you continue experiencing these timeline shifts. Sometimes you're jumping from one timeline to another. And the person that may present themselves for a relationship at that moment, you may sometimes notice that you're actually leaving them on a different timeline, okay? So you, you have shifted to another one, so we could say there are some levels to this whole thing. You could be sometime moving from two to three, and that person is still on one, you know? And there is a very big energetic, energetic difference between you and that person, and you feel that actually you cannot even connect with that person spiritually, even if when they're around you, you still feel they may usually sometimes be good people. Yes, you may even sometimes have gone on a few dates and you may actually have, have liked each other. But on a very spiritual level, you will feel 
there is a very deep connection that is missing on a really spiritual level and sometimes you're feeling that you're on a different frequency you're on a different timeline you're climbing and you're elevating and sometimes this person probably are not even doing anything with themselves they are still stuck in that same timeline that you've been before and you're finding this difference this energetic energetic difference between the two of you and you're feeling like uh you're not going to be able to connect with these people spiritually because a chosen person is a person that wants to have a deeper spiritual connection with someone they will even sometimes have a very good physical attraction towards the person the person may be a very nice person very beautiful woman you know very composed and you know with very good intentions but at the same time you also um you're still feeling that as much as you are attracted to these individuals even physically even sometimes you could have had intimate relationships with them but you're feeling this spiritual imbalance between the two of you and you're feeling like you need a really deeper spiritual connection even with the person first of all with yourself and also with the person that you intend to be with in a full blown successful relationship so this thing keeps on this timeline is keep to keep on uh, you know fluctuating and shifting and sometimes the shifts are very intensive and sometimes they're not even allowing you to get closer to anyone a lot of chosen people you will see them most of the times they spend very very uh, huge amounts of time alone years sometimes a spiritual journey is like a journey which doesn't have a destination it's like you wake up every day and there's something new going on there is some changes going on there is something else to heal there is something you know a lot of this you know the ego death and everything so many things are happening all at the same time and you're feeling like you want yes okay but you want a relationship but it is not getting to that point where it is your biggest priority you know because your priority is to heal yourself and to find purpose in life so the only successful relationships i could say that i know there are those relationships which um you find a person that has reached their peak on their journey okay so they have discovered this purpose who they are you know they've done the healing work and they are now on this journey that they know this is where they need to be and sometimes maybe that's when they even sometimes can uh bring in somebody uh, close to them and you know start some some form of a, 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 a like a really serious uh, relationship with them and those people they are supposed to be also very supportive they need to really understand that person they need to understand that that person has been burnt over the years they need to understand that that person has been healing they need also to understand their purpose so a chosen person wants a person to be intimate or in a relationship with someone that understands who they are first of all they need to understand that you are a chosen person because if they come in with this jealousy and envy and think that you 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 try to be the best like whatever it is you know a lot of ego may kick in and sometimes they want a person who is going to understand uh their spirituality is very important to them as well and that person need to be uh very very patient with them as well okay because remember that when you get into these relationships at a certain point later on in your life you know that anybody who comes into your into your life you are going to be there for them and you are going to also support them they may be also climbing somewhere somehow they may be understanding your journey they may be understanding healing they may be have worked on their traumas as well they may also some sometimes have hoped on some kind of spiritual path and you are going to actually work together to create some kind of balance whereby the two of you now can start growing uh at the same frequency and the person also sometimes need to be needs to be willing to do some changes as well to you know to to catch up with you on whichever timeline you may be okay so this is the person who will be also be constantly working on themselves to elevate themselves in a very spiritual way that they, are, they can always catch up because a chosen person may be a person who is on, a, a, on an extremely high frequency on a very spiritual level and energetic level it doesn't matter where you are but if you're the person that is also working towards that frequency and you are actually really working together and you guys have got this thing whereby your energy is always kind of catch up with each other you are willing to do the work you're so moving on doing the work on yourself uh it is when i i would believe or i would suppose that kind of relationship will work but for me in my experience i would say for a chosen person it hasn't it hasn't been easy when it came to relationships it has always been this kind of you know uh 
difficulties and challenges whereby, oh, why is, you know, why can they be, why, why are they alone? Why can they be in a relationship? Why is it that anytime they meet somebody, sometimes things don't work out? You're going somewhere, okay? And this is a journey that you're taking, most likely by yourself. So anybody is supposed to meet you on your journey, like I've told you, the universe will usually show you this person somewhere along your journey. And that person, the very first thing they will do, they will start to understand what you're doing. They will understand who you are, and they will understand what you're doing, and they will understand your journey and your path and your purpose. They will actually understand where you're going. They can either hop on the, on the bus and move along with you, but if they're just like the people who are willing to stay where they are and, you know, do nothing on themselves, to work on themselves, it is usually not going to work out uh, with this relationship with those kind of uh, chosen ones, especially the evolving ones. A chosen person will have a successful relationship at the end of their journey. I could say when they have actually found their purpose, because that is like the peak of this whole spiritual evolution and growth. It's at the peak of their journey that they are actually going to finally meet somebody that is actually going to continue growing with them. And they're going to build each other in so many different kinds of ways. So do not worry about the process, okay? Do not worry about this thing, because a lot of times we get too lonely. And sometimes we think that we want a relationship. But actually, when you really look very deep into yourself and your soul, you're figuring out that actually relationship is not really a very big priority in your life. There is so many things on the table and there's really a lot of work to do. And sometimes if a person is not going to either do the work with you or support you in whatever it is you're doing and they are also doing the work to work on themselves and grow, it is usually, it is usually going to be a, a little bit difficult to have any form of successful relationship in that, uh, in that kind of situation. So what we learn from this is uh, embrace some period of solitude. It can be years. Nobody knows when this journey is going to end because like I've told you, this is like a continuous uh, journey that you keep on ascending and ascending and sometimes uh, it gets you a little bit lonely. There, there's, there are sessions where you get extremely lonely and sometimes this loneliness even sometimes stinks. But you get used to this and focus on your growth and evolution and let that person that is meant to be in your life, let them gravitate naturally towards you. When they come around and when they show up, you will know that these are the people that are supposed to be a part of you. Embrace the loneliness. Do the work on yourself. Do some healing work on yourself. Really figure out, first of all, on your own, where it is do you really want to go? What exactly do you want to do for your life? And eventually, ladies and gentlemen, at some point in time, you will be able to meet that person that is meant for you. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. I don't know if this video resonates. If it does, leave us a comment as well. Like the page, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a session or maybe donate to support my channel, all the links you need, you will find them in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Desmos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.